Hey, what up, YouTube? YouTube, this is Mike Sales, aka 10 Stacks. Got my hoodie on, it's kind of cold in here. But my focus for the day is on non surgical hair replacement. I'm gonna share with you some ideas and some techniques and tips that I learned throughout my career. If you like this video, subscribe and share it. And hit me up in the comment box if you have any questions or if you uh, just wanna give a dope, your dope thought about the cut, let me know. Hit me up. So yeah, now we're beginning the process. As you can see, I'm drawing the first line of demarcation, which is around the forehead, creating the, the lineup. Now I'm doing the horseshoe, and the horseshoe is one of the most important parts of non-surgical hair replacement. This is where you learn to um, separate your human hair from the system. And you gotta create your blend. I'm using the wall magic clips, and I'm using the three-fourths guard and the one guard to create my uh, blending techniques during the notching process. Yep, yep. So now I'm coming on top with the edges, doing more cleaning because you have to have a clean surface and it's good to always clean the surface off with a horseshoe with alcohol. Now I'm applying the Barbasol Saving Cream about to really start to, to really detail another cut with the razor edging. So yeah, the razor edging is, is one of the most important techniques to me with fading. And I apply a color in that beard too. I use Kiss Color. Uh, Kiss color is always good for definition. As you can see, I'm working around the perimeter of the beard. Going back and forth with the razor and the clipper. Kind of getting that detail locked all the way in. So as you see, I'm using that Kiss color on the beard a little more. Sometimes you have to go uh, back and forth with the color so you can have more detail. And, and see, my haircuts are specified on the detail. I specify the detail. I target in on detail. So as you see, we're just going through the process. This client right here has been in my chair for about five years. Now this process takes a little time. It's actually a very tedious process. This particular service, you have to be trained on every detail of this hair replacement because it never has the same thing going on. Now I'm using bowl hole, double-sided wig tape. This is one of the techniques I like to use for guys who are highly active. It's less on itching and it holds very good. It's used minimum glue or minimum adhesive. Going to use bowl hole uh, lace and wig adhesive on the top. Going to start applying it here in a second. But you use minimum. I like to use around the perimeter and on the crown just a little bit. Just to help that double sided tape stick even more. Now this is great for a highly active uh, person. As you can see, I'm laying my my system down. Now I'm starting to trim the system, which is very important to to the alteration of the, the system in comparison with the perimeter of the head. You see, I'm using a three guard. Breaking it down to a two guard and break it down to a three-fourths guard. And I use my thinning shears and thinning comb to finish the process.
Another process in which is about to take place is the foam wrap. The foam is actually one of the most pivotal processes in this system to create the illusion that you're looking for. And you also have a paddle brush. This is one of the, this is the, the I would say the meat of the system. This is what is very important. Now, wave cap them up. After you wave cap them, put them under dry for about 15 minutes. As you can see, the finished look after the wave cap and the dry, it's an outstanding look. Let's just sit back and watch.